sorry about this hair right now it's in that weird stage where it's like bald eagle what up everyone michael b petty here um i recently read a comment on instagram and it got me thinking a lot about cancel culture so i wanted to talk a little bit about why i think cancel culture has become a has become quite honestly just really fucking ridiculous so as you know I'm a RuPaul's Drag Race fan. I really enjoy the show. Um, there is someone that I do follow um, from the show on there that I do like a lot right now, and she's brown cow stunning. Girl, no, that's a giraffe. <laughs> Cows ain't spotted like that. That's a giraffe. I saw it and I was like, oh, brown cow, stunning. <laughs> and her name is Monique Hart. Well, I recently saw, and this is from a lot of a lot of people like this is a fave like everyone really likes this person i don't watch him i don't really watch his videos that i don't really watch his videos period i saw and it's from rich lux and he put he commented on her post under her like awesome picture of her in her gown that she won in um you are canceled for sending home latrice and then she responded being a queen being a drag queen who probably reads on the daily you're canceled and you have type 2 motherfucking diabetes raggedy bitch now was her response called for? Probably not. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about how quickly we like to throw around like cancel or like how quickly we want to like end someone's career or end, end someone's livelihood or whatever the fuck we want to do because um, they do or say something that we like don't particularly like. And I know that you guys are probably thinking like, wow, that's rich coming from someone who does the videos that I've done. Um, yeah, I don't like Amber Lynn Reed, but personally, I don't think she should like end YouTube. I think Honestly, she should stay on YouTube because I'd rather Google support her than the state of Kentucky. I've just noticed that we've like started getting way too, pre it's become way too prevalent and way too, way too common and that we just like want to cancel people for like doing some dumb stuff. Like I think once upon a time it made sense when people did and said awful things. Yes, it made sense. Like should we cancel Harvey Weinstein? Probably. The dude is like a serial sex abuser. Like obviously. Should we have canceled Bill Cosby, yeah, he drugged and raped women. Like, duh, we should have canceled him. But now we're beginning to cancel people like Kevin Hart because he made a joke that I don't agree with. And now we like don't want him to like have a career or like we're gonna can well, I was gonna say we're gonna cancel Louis CK, but he did forcibly come on women. So maybe he deserves a cancel. I just noticed that like we've gotten way too forthcoming or way too almost willing to just cancel people for no reason right the thing that reminds me or the thing that like comes to my head first is like when everyone wanted to like cancel taylor swift because supposedly she gave kanye west a go-ahead to like rap about her in a verse after all of that mtv shit and he recorded her like there was a recording of it and then kim kardashian released it after she had come out saying that she didn't really appreciate being in that verse or being called a bitch blah 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 whatever it is and everyone's like, oh, we're gonna cancel Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's canceled. She's fucking done. Bitch is thriving, okay? She's thriving. She's probably making more money than she's ever made. Then it makes me start to think about the beauty YouTubers, right? Like we've, literally they've been trying to cancel Laura Lee. <sighs> for I don't know how long, like since what, since the beginning of this year, they've been trying to cancel Laura Lee. Um, the bitch ain't going nowhere. She's going nowhere and people need to get over it. She's here to stay. People like her, people enjoy her. She's controversial. She's whatever she is. I don't know, I don't watch her. I don't know why people watch her, but they've essentially tried to cancel her for like the past seven months and she's not going anywhere. She's still gaining subscribers. She's still, people still watch her shit. Everyone's saying that the Veronica Wong is canceled right now. I personally am thriving and living for this mukbang drama. I think it's hilarious and funny. I think it's funny that PewDiePie is talking about it. Yes, yeah, she did falsely copyright claim people. That's fucking stupid. That's illegal. And she looks dumb for doing it. Is she canceled? No. So I'm tired of seeing every Veronica Wong is canceled video on the drama channels. Every uh, so-and-so is canceled because of the Morphe brushes. Oh, so-and-so is canceled because of this. They're not canceled. They're not, and they're going nowhere. They're here to stay. So like, I think honestly, I don't know if it's a means to drum up more. It looks more the thumbnail looks more dramatic. It looks more, uh, it gets people more, it's more clickbaity. I mean, I, don't, I, I think that's where it comes from. But now it's gotten to a point where the term is used so much that now we can't even really cancel the people that need to be canceled. I mean, I don't even think we should cancel anyone. Like, it's so dumb. Like, we just shouldn't even, like, 
if you don't like them or whatever, then like don't like them or make videos about them and monetize them. Like overplayed, it's overused, it's overdone. So like, let's just like let people just fucking be. And if they want to be fucking assholes, let them be assholes, call them out on their assholery. But like, let's not pretend that like we have this power to cancel people because we don't. I don't know how many times Shit, we can't even cancel R. Kelly, okay? And he literally has women held up in a room somewhere peeing in buckets. And we can't even figure out a way to cancel R. Kelly. In fact, he's getting more plays on Spotify. More people are buying his music now more than ever. His tour in Germany got extended. Like, go around and do like cancel posts, cancel videos, blah, blah, blah. Call out the bullshit. Call out the asshole behavior. But to pretend that like this little bit of tea is going to somehow derail their entire career it's stupid and it's not worth it and i don't think that we should be going around writing you're canceled because you voted off your your favorite got voted off of a reality show like that's the that's a level of petty that i don't even think i can get to like it's so so stupid so I don't know. I just wanted to give my two cents a little bit about this whole cancel thing about how like overused and overplayed it is. And like, maybe we just need to come up with a new word. I don't know what that word is. I'm not unique enough or witty enough to come up with a new word, but I don't know. We just need to get on to the next thing. I am over cancel culture culture. I'm overseeing this. So-and-so is canceled. Like, let's just fucking go on, like call out the asshole behavior and keep it pushing. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I just want to give my two cents about that. Remember to like and subscribe if you like my content. And before you go around trying to cancel me, you can't because I never premiered. Toodles.